I've been working in television since graduating college, and um, why, why, why are you looking at me like that? You really lost it on that morning show, didn't you? There is something that I would like to share with our viewing audience. Well, I don't think that's such a great idea, Sylvia. So, oh, yeah. well, I don't care what you think. From the moment that I started working here, what do I've I been do fighting then? off the infantile and often offensive advances of that guy. But despite the amateurish sex, I somehow developed an attachment to the walking haircut sitting in that chair. She has lost her mind. That is, until this morning. I found these. How long have you been sleeping with them, Sherry? Wow. Let's do a commercial. Aren't you that weather girl who committed career suicide in a very unsightly way before an audience of thousands this morning? No, guy. This guy's an idiot, and my big sister's a wreck because of him. It's embarrassing. You're cold. Sylvia. She's a girl that just got dumped. Maybe cut her a little slack. I think Byron's got a thing for you. Yeah, I know. He told me. You're a joke. <laughs> So I put you on my staff, that makes me a joke. I'm 35 years old, I have no job, no insurance, no apartment. So what are you gonna do now, love? I send out my resume, I guess. A, a weather girl resume? Take a chance on you. Don't make me regret it. The future is scary, but not if you've got someone to hold. Do you wanna go on a date with me? Date with you? Yeah, I do think I'm a pretty good rebound guy. <laughs> She wants the, the money and the security and the, and the grown-up-ness. Maybe I could calm some fears. I, I don't have any of it. Don't you talk to me about self-respect. I'm doing this because I deserve better. Situation, not good. Snob. I am a snob. No. You're a work in progress.